It looks easy, but it's definitely not for everyone. Ski jumping is like intervention in our industry. It looks easier than it is. And although many things are the same as 30 years ago, there's been some major changes, not the least in technology and equipment. The distance from me here to the Oslo Fjord is almost identical to the longest wells on the Valhall field. And with the pipe this size, it doesn't take much for the production to be reduced or stop entirely. It would be nice to know where the problems are, why they arise, and how to fix them. This is what we do in interventions. After many ski jumpers have taken off, the edge of the ski jump will gradually change. The tracks get worn and the conditions affect their performance. The same happens to offshore wells. As wells age, and reservoirs are drained. Pressure is decreased, resulting in lower production rates. It becomes crucial to optimize our production and enhance recovery. However, intervening wells becomes more and more challenging. We have to work smarter to identify the most suitable intervention techniques and technologies to produce the remaining volumes, minimize cost, reduce operational risk, and also the carbon footprint. We like to maintain what we have, and we've got experts in all fields for optimal conditions. We find out what's wrong when the speed slows down, and we aim to be one step ahead. Although many things are done in the same way as 50 years ago, there have been revolutionary changes in well intervention as in ski jumping. For instance, well diagnostics used to take place using pen and paper and a checklist that had to be handed to others physically before the work could proceed. Hundreds of emails, Excel sheets, Word documents and PowerPoints for each operation gradually became unmanageable. Now this takes place digitally, in real time and partly by the means of autonomous operations, which reduce the number of exposed personnel. We perform almost 100 operations a day. This meant that we had to develop an interactive platform tailored for interventions to ensure a more structured and better way of learning. Together with Stimline, the alliance partners AgroBP, Stimwell and SLB have implemented the tool IDEX. It enables everyone to work in the same way and to have access to exactly the same information everywhere. This way of working also makes it easier for us to predict where production strings problems are likely to occur and how to prevent them. Based on historical data, the program also provides a fair estimate of how long it'll take to perform the necessary maintenance work. This interactive platform makes it possible for us, as a service provider and alliance partner, to retrieve the information that we need in a second. This data is used to fit our AI model that enable autonomous operations. We are not on this autonomous journey just to sound cool and fancy. We do it because it's safer and because it enhances predictability in our operations. Warland and cold tubing operations are the operations we perform most frequently. These are now autonomous, just like autonomous cars. The driver still has full control of the car and sits in the driver's seat, for now at least. We have now shown that this works in our operations at Valhall. And one thing is for sure, we could never have done it alone. It's the alliance which is the key ingredient in enabling us to be the first in the world to do this. Using sensors and real-time modeling ensures that we can optimize the use of existing equipment on all our assets. This is merely the first step in a transformation towards fully autonomous operations. We have matured our digital transformation and we aim to be even more proactive. Maximizing value by ensuring we are working on the right well at the right time in a predictable and robust manner. This alliance is huge to us. 
because it's a relationship that's based on creating value and a relationship based on trust. And you can see with an alliance like this, we have been able to accelerate technology, accelerate digital developments, and create new workflows. This takes intervention, which has been in the dark ages, into a very bright future. Arkham BP wants to be best operating our assets. And we do this through execution excellence, revolutionary developments, and world leaders. Or well, first or best, as we would say, in drilling and wells. And Arkham BP and partners are proud putting in the efforts to be successful.